This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. Hey, good morning, my loves. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are in this crazy world that we live in. Welcome to Barry Q Nails. Betty Q Nails. I'm so happy you're back. Welcome. Oh, sorry. I'm a little delirious. A little early. Didn't sleep that well. But welcome back to Very Cute Nails. I'm Pedro and I'm so happy to have you back. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you to be here watching today. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It's free. Don't we all like free? We love free. And if you can like the video, comment below. Let's start a dialogue or something. Also, um, to all my Barry Q Nails Diamond Cubs, my loyal subscribers, Thank you so much for always being here and commenting and engaging. I love talking to all of you. You know, it really means a lot to someone who doesn't have a lot of friends in real life. So it is very nice to be growing a little community and family here. So, enough of that. <laughs> enough of the gushy stuff. Remember this set? Ugh. And I'm, st I'm still rocking the overlay on this hand because I'm trying to, you know, help these nails get a little stronger. So as it grows, I just go underneath, clean a little bit, you know. Anyway. Okay, so today we are here because we have one of the 100 boxes that were released from Enel Couture. Here is the box it came in. It's very different than the other boxes that we've gotten recently at least. And is a little smaller, but you know what? I don't care. It's cute. Cute box, great price, and great products based on the history, so why not, right? So, we are doing an unboxing today. I got a few things already ready, just in case. So I have, you know, an acrylic brush, which is actually uh, one from Email Couture. It's their uh, Petite Macaroon brush. And I got a little, just in case there's some, I don't know, polishes or anything. Okay, so we're gonna unbox, all right? All right, so on the lid, got that, very pretty, very gorgeous, very shiny. And here is the box. All right, so it's not too big that I don't have to move it. I can keep it in the shot, I think. All right, y'all. So, first thing you know, we got tips. And I'm already excited because I see that these are the black French, which I have none of. So, these are black French short ballerina. Now, y'all know I don't like short nails. Because, honey, not that short, at least. But... Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, so cute. This is a zero. Oh, okay, wow. So it actually is about, is literally the same length as what I'm wearing now on my overlay. Cute. So 
So if I want to do another moment of, I guess, keeping the nails on for a while because I know I want them to grow a little, then maybe I'll put those on. But these, child, we got XXL French Coffin. I always go for the zeros just because, you know, my big bear paws. Don't be fitting them cute numbers. <laughs> I always gotta get the wide number, the round one. Ooh. Gorgeous. That's pretty. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Get it, honey. I like that. That's a good shape. Very pretty. And you could still cut it down a little if it's too much. If it's too much. You know? Sometimes it's a little much. All right, I'm gonna keep this covered so you can't see everything that's underneath. And I don't want, I want it to be a surprise for me too. All right, so I'm sorry. Uh, these are sculptured square medium. Hmm. This is a new one too. I never had this. One here. Okay. Sculpture to square medium. Okay. Good. This is cute. I don't have a sports length near me, but you know, I'm assuming the sports length is a little shorter than this. From the other ones. I remember correctly, my hubby likes wearing the sports length one. Um, he has to do a lot of, you know, manipulatives at school, and he needs to use his hands a lot. You know, it's a lot easier without cloths. <laughs> uh, and what's here? And we got, okay, we got to tip our round. So, you know, you know how I feel about the round. Not my fave, but you know what? I don't care. It's still a great value for what you get in this box. So whether you use it, trade it, or it's practice, I need to actually put a set on and see how I feel because, I don't know, I just feel like it's going to make my fingers look wider than they already do, but we'll see. Alright. So, those are the tips. So, we got four. Got four tips and now we got a whole bunch of goodies. So, I'm going to move this a little so y'all yeah, don't get everything at once. All right. So we have a monomer, an inner couture for ounce monomer. So we know the balls come a little less filled because transport, of course. So this should be about four ounces of liquid. And the monomer works very well. Um, it's not very strong. Um, I would equate it to about young nails in terms of uh, odor of monomer. So that's that. Let's just move it to the side over here. Um, let's do these little bags. Okay. Alright, so we got another little charm mix. I know this one is going to I hope it doesn't spill all over the place. Oh gosh. A little bit. A 
little bit still. But, ooh, it's so pretty. Oh, that blue stone right there, honey. Let's see if the light can hit it. That's nice. All right, so let me put this back on before I mess up anything else. So, cute. Come on. All right, uh, we got another one here. Very cute. I've gotten a different color of this before. All right, so we got some rose gold caviar beads gorgeous honey come on now mm. got a mixture of gold caviar beads and bunch of other little random knickknacks for a, a lovely nail set. Fabulous. All right, I think we got a duplicate, honey. But it's cool. The same one. Very pretty. I would definitely need more because they're nice. Alright, uh, I think these are the same as well, but again, grateful because all of this stuff for 20 bucks, actually less because of the promo code for this month, for the month of May and for Memorial Day. We had the sale of 31% off. So I think it brought the box down to, I think, $14. That's pretty awesome. Is this the same as this one? No, the middle one is a little different. Very cute, though. Micro beads, and this one's more of a pink gold hue. I'm not opening this lid right now because of what happened with this first one. Honey, honey, I worked the uh, what do you got? I'm not doing that, honey. I'm not about to slip down the house boots today, boo boo. I got another caviar bead. Another rose gold. Very nice. Can y'all hear that? Okay. Um, what do I want to unpack next? Alright, so um, I'm assuming this is a nail glue. <laughs> I'm a guess. And Oh, brush on. Oh, yep, that is a nail glue. Alright, so it's a brush on nail glue. Close that tight. And it looks like it came with another nail glue. This one, it's not brush on. I think this one's a dropper. Yeah, this one's a little dropper instead of it being a brush. I personally like the brushes better. Alright, now we're into like the, the final little round. Okay, so um, this is cool. I've never gotten like a little, like a tool from them. So this is the Petite Macaron, macaron um, 
I didn't honestly I didn't know what this was. I had to go to the website and search. But this is four cat eye gels. So it is the little wand. So when you do a cat eye gel, you can just kind of, you know, write or draw whatever shape it is you want. So I'm gonna hold that to the side for now. I'm not sure if we're gonna use it today in the unbox. I mean, this is an unboxing, but you know, I wanted to try some of the stuff as well first. All right, we've got, oh, my first happy gel. I, mean, I do not have any happy gel, so that's pretty cool. Happy gel is his version of acro gel also known as hybrid gel, also known as poly gel. It's very nice, and this one's an eternal beige. Let's see this, see this. Come on, girl. say okay very pretty I don't know about beige that looks more like a pinkish type of moment but very nice I'm excited to try his happy gel I've never used it before I'm very excited to try his happy gel now that doesn't sound right but whatever moving on lovely one two three go bubblegum gel light pink i believe i have a light pink so light pink is always beautiful and you use these to apply your tips and this will hold the nail from going left and right and you know you won't have to hold it you know on the entire time it helps it's very it gives you some flexibility when applying your tips sometime. All right. Ooh, this is fancy. Ugh. So nice. It's like Sailor Moon. All right. So it just says zero, zero, 001. Product of the USA by Max Estrada. What is it? Well done. Let's get some swatches. these swatches I, I you know I'll be using them long stiletto ones but these are smaller and will save polish <laughs> all right so let's see what she is Ooh, can y'all see it's a gorgeous sparkle so is this like a top coat or not I don't even know it's because it's the product in the product in the brush that's making it feel so nice but it goes on so smooth and for something that has glitters surprising don't put on too much child all right, all right so Let that cure and let's see. All right, so that was that. It's a cute bottle. Just wish I knew what it was. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got a gel polish. Looks like a purple shimmer. Number 078. 
Neun. Hmm. Let's see. Let me say a purple shimmer. Just a little sheer. I will say that. second coat because she was a little sheer all right next we have one of these spring candy actually you know I'll just open those two all right so I got spo3 I got spo3 and spo4 spring candy Should really put like what it is like you know brush on this or glue or whatever All right. let's see let's see just open child oh okay hold on is this like a glitter or something Yeah. Alright, hold on. Ooh, I got a package out to deliver today. That's exciting. I know, look at me using my bits to open stuff, but don't judge me. She is chunky. Huh. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wipe this off so I don't mess up my e file. <laughs> Alright. Um Okay. So I have a little alcohol here. I have a Jesus. I have a brush. One second because I just saw that this is done. So let me do a second coat on this just to see. If there's any more of a color payoff to this. Let me just make sure this ain't cat eye, right? Y'all hear a truck outside, that's the garbage man coming for the bulk. Dead bulk garbage. Alright, look at that. So y'all can see the consistency. It's very soupy. Like, jeez. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the consistency. Like, it kind of looks like some... Like, I don't know what they use for it, but it kind of, it's kind of giving a little, like, it's probably not, like, it might be just, like, an optical thing, but it looks like it's, there's an ingredient kind of separating, but whatever, look, as long as it applies and dries, that's all we care about, right? Who cares what it looks like going on? 
Hold on. Hold on, mofo. Is that a butterfly? Okay, hold on. I think I put too much on first. Okay, so this is not something you can like really brush on, but I don't, I don't want to, I'm just trying to make sure that the entire nail is covered because I don't want any missing spots. Oh look, it has little butterflies. That's cute. Let's put that back. I can't? Alright, so that's that one. I'll put this in the lamp. And let's wipe you off. And let's check this one. And close this first. same soupy-ish consistency but it doesn't give me the same feeling that I got with the last one but I digress Ooh. I like the shapes and the glitters that's very cute I pick up another star or something in there? I don't know. I feel like this was made kind of like... This is no shade. But it, like, it feels like somebody made this at home and like just mixed some loose base coat with some cute glitters. But, I mean look. It comes up with a cute result. It's just... I don't like how the product applies that much. But... Let's see what it looks like cured. These are just my opinions. So that's that. And all right, we are on the last thing. The last thing is this. <laughs> the powders. 50 gram. Okay. Alright, well, um. It just says the powders. That's not helpful. I tried. And yeah, that's not helpful. <laughs> that's whatever. Actually, hold on. Before I even do that. All right, so this is two coats of this. This was 078. So that's two coats of that. It's actually pretty. It's actually cute. It's giving me chrome vibes, kind of. Like a chrome violet. That's nice. All right, this was this. tell very fine glitters there's no tacky layer so I'm assuming this is a top coat but it doesn't say anything <laughs> but it's cute I mean it's a very you know it's very sheer it's a clear glitter so you know it's very nice that's that okay so we still got the tacky layer so these are meant to be brush-ons. Alright, so let's do... Can you see it better under this? I really want you guys to see the shapes. So this one has little stars. This one's very springy. It has a lot of pastel kind of glitters. 
Oh, it's very cute. So this one was spring SP03 spring candy. And then this one is SP04 spring candy. So this one has butterflies. It has a little orangey peachy undertone. It has some looks like gold or orangish glitters. But it's cute. I love the butterflies. I think the butterflies are super cute. Um, okay, so back to the powder, sorry. I got sidetracked. Alright. So this just says, the powders. Alright, so at this point, I mean, it could, it could be clear, it could be a natural color, an ombre, I don't know. Get my little monomer container. And using the Email Couture Petite Macaron brush. Just gonna get it in there. Make sure we get fully saturated. Get those air bubbles out. Um, and I think for this one, I'm gonna use, I don't got that many left, but let me use it for this. I have a of the stiletto tips. Yeah. So let's do that. giving me a white moment letting it sit for a second now I'm gonna remind y'all I'm in Florida and it is hot Acrylics tend to dry a lot faster when you are on a hot day. Get this out. Don't judge my acrylic laying skills. I am practicing still. <laughs> and I'm I'm definitely of that group that believes that different companies have a learning curve with using acrylic. So I definitely have not been using Enel Couture that much in, in terms of acrylic. So let's just see. Pass over over the top. Right, let me try to get one more. I want to get a wet bead and try to just let it fall a little. Let gravity do some work.
So I guess let that set for a second. Turn this off. Do this every time I do anything with my brush. I try to wipe it and try to just get some liquid in it. Splay it a bit and not really. I don't press very hard, but you know, hard enough that once you glide the brush out, it should be able to pull out anything that hopefully did not get stuck in your brush. But you know, things happen. Okay, we'll bring that back. So the noise at the point there. Got that. And cover this. This little thing is great. Let me tell you. Because it has like a little thingy here and it prevents the smell from getting out. It's awesome. Alright, so this is hardening. But yeah, so, I mean, you can tell already, it's pretty much like a milky, milky color, milky white, not a natural, not natural white, but white. So to me, this is more like a, like, core white from Young Nails, kind of. Alright, my loves. My lovely baby diamond cubs. That was the unboxing. And again, we have our tips. One, two, three, four, and then this stuff. And then we have our swatches here of what we've used. Alright, so we got this stuff. So, alright. So, that's it. This was one of the 100 mystery scoops. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm definitely going to be using all of this stuff in future videos. If you see anything here you have questions about, comment below. Let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for making it to this point in the video. I really appreciate it. I was trying to keep this not too long, but, you know, I'll be getting into it. And, you yeah. know. You get loose track of time. So, thank you so much. I love you all. Sending love, light, positive vibes. All the good stuff. I'm pushing it out to all of you. Thank you so much, my Berry Q Nails family. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.